Okay, this is chapter two of Neapolitan pizza. And in the last video, we made dough and we divided it into four even pieces and we put that in the fridge. That was last night. So today I took my um, Ziploc bags of dough out of the fridge about uh, two and a half hours ago and I just let them sit on the counter. And now I'm going to shape each ball of dough into a personal size Neapolitan pizza. So I'm going to use this um, hand pizza roller. You can use one of these if you like it. And I have every gadget known to, to uh, the kitchen because I love gadgets. But if you don't have this sort of a gadget, you can use a glass or you can use a, a can, um, a small rolling can if you have it. You can also shape it by hand. But uh, whatever you use, just remember on a Neapolitan style pizza, you want puffy edges, so don't roll your edges. So I've got some flour on the counter here and I have some extra flour because this dough is very sticky, which is good, and that's what we want. And I'm just gonna kind of roll the dough off of the Ziploc bag. And if, and I'm gonna kind of, flip that in the flour a little bit. Now, if you wanted to shape the dough by hand, then what you would do is use knuckles, never fingers, and you would just take your knuckles and shape that pizza dough by stretching and turning and stretching and turning. But I prefer to roll because when I start to stretch and turn with knuckles, I drop the pizza dough and the dog's happy, but my dinner guests are not. So I'm going to start with this small end of the roller and just uh, stretch and roll as I go. And I'm going to try for a circular shape, but it's okay if it's not perfect. And notice that I'm coming close to, but never going quite to the edge. And I'm gonna turn that and I'll go to the bigger side of the roller and gently stretch and roll. You want to pay attention. You don't want this to stick on the bottom and you, you can sort of tell that was a little sticky so if it, if it starts to just kind of flip it and lightly flour it. And the flour I'm using by the way is all-purpose or bread flour. Either one works. I think actually this is Sam's bread flour. Uh, you do not want to use self-rising flour for this. So I'm stretching and rolling. Alexa, stop the timer. That's for the pizza that's in the oven. And you want to get to about a nine or a 10 inch circle. And we're just about there. And when we get there, and you can see that's very thin dough in the center, but around the edges, it's gonna be a little thicker because that's gonna puff up when we bake it. So when we get to that point, we're going to take a pizza peel, and I'm going to just sprinkle some cornmeal on that pizza peel, and that'll keep the dough from sticking. Now, if, um, if you watched last night's video, you know that already your oven should be preheated at 500, and if you have a pizza stone, that should be in there, and you should have that going for at least 30 minutes before you begin this process. I'm cooking outside in a propane uh, pizza oven, so that cooks at about 700, and that's preheated uh, already, and in fact, we've already got one pizza in. So then I'm gonna take the dough, I'm going to put it on the, the cornmeal peel, and from here, we will top this, we'll put it in the oven, and it'll go in the oven about six or seven minutes, and then come out, and we'll show you that on video number three. Thanks.